Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics Plus. In this video, let us understand the system virilla constructor that is new function and what are all the advantages. So before going to that, let me introduce you to my one more channel that is Explore Electronics. Here in the playlist, you can see some basic concepts related to Verilog, CMOS VLSI design as well as digital electronics. If you see Verilog STL, there are many videos here on RTL coding. There are many concepts and the test bench as well as the RTL code is written. And this will be helpful for the beginner or uh, starter who going with Verilog. And also if you want VLSI design concepts, like if you want to start with the transistor, how actually it will work and uh, how the cadence virtuoso tool can be used for designing of the circuit as well as the digital part simulation, you can visit this playlist. And also you will be uh, having a digital electronics playlist so that you can start learning from the logic gates also. And also using KMAP simplification, carry look ahead order and uh, flip flops as well as the synchronous counter design. So these are the concepts present in other channel. So kindly visit explore electronics if you want basic concepts. Many of you asking for that. So I am introducing you over here. Let us come back to the main topic that is system Verilog constructor. So here I am taking uh, some examples codes to make you understand how it will work. The first thing is that here I am using one simple class and I am using that class within a Verilog module. So let us understand in a class uh, example one is the name of the class. I am declaring a b as my variables with bit keyword. This bit is a data type for a. This a becomes a two state variable now means bit will allow a to be fluctuate between 0 and 1 only. So if you use bit it is a two state data type and if you use integer it is a four state data type b can take a value 0 1 x and z also. And now I have a function here function void display I am writing and this function will be simply a display function to display the values of a and b and that's it the class is and I am using that class in my Verilog module module tb I am calling this uh, class over here you can see example 1 and I am giving the handle to that class as ex and within initial begin I am using I am calling a new constructor this new is a default function in system Verilog. No need to define in my class. We can directly call this new function. And we are supposed to call this new function with the handle to get the access to the different variables of the class or the class properties we can say. And then after calling this new, what it will do? This new function is a constructor. It will construct the class object and allocates the free space, uh, it means a memory for the class object. It and also initializes the variables to their default value. This new function allocates the memory and then it will assign the default values for the variables. Here a, b are the variables. The default value of a is 0 and default value of b is x. And we have a display function we are supposed to call over here. The display function will be called with the handle of the class that is ex dot display this corresponds to this particular function and end end module. Here I am just calling a display function of this example class and here I have two variables those two variables I need to display uh, the default values. So if we run this it will it is supposed to display the value of a as 0 and b as x and remember we have not defined a and b as 0 x but it is the default value since we are using a new constructor. So here you can see at zero sum simulation time this is executed this display statement is executed and a will be having value 0 and b will be having value x these are the default values the new constructor is assigned. And now let me take you to example 2 let us define our own constructor function function new we can write let us go with example 2 now. So now let us look at the example 2. Class example 2 is the name of the class. Again I am using the same variables and here I am using a function new means I am defining my own function. What this function will do? Once we define the new function by our own, we have a flexibility to give the default values for our class variables. 
here a b are the variables i am not giving any value to a but i am giving the value to b as 32 tick h a b c d so a b c d is the hexadecimal number i am assigning to b so then similarly as the previous example we have a display function and in module tb i am just taking that class example 2 as ex ex is equal to new this will be creating the object and then i am displaying there is no change in the tb code so let me run this and we are expecting a should be 0 and b should be a b c d it is not x why because we have used our own constructor and this constructor we are passing this value to b and now this will be our default value you can see at the output 0 simulation time a will be 0 why a is 0 for bit data type the default value is 0 and for b what we are supposed to expect a b c d because in the new function we have we are uh, giving we are giving the default value we are setting it as a b c d so b is equal to a b c d this is the advantage we are going to get if you are going to define our own constructor you can define your own values over here in the new function that becomes the default values now let us see one more example by passing the value for this function new now let us see example 3 you can see here class example 3 again the same variables a b and what is the change i am doing here in the function new i am keeping the arguments as a b a is equal to 1 and uh, b is equal to 3 i am assigning here and also this new function will be having two arguments now and in the function what i am doing the value of a which is come over here will be assigned to my uh, variable a and b will be assigned to the small b that is the variable of the class b and same uh, display function and then in the module module tb example 3 is taken as ex handle and ex is equal to new and now here i need to pass the value what is the value i am passing for the first variable i am not passing any value so this a should be having a default value as 1 which i am giving here directly and this b i am passing as 32 tick h f e d c this f e d c value should be the default value now it will be assigning to b when this new function is going to be called so this is how we can also define the default values by passing the values now let us run this code and try to see and we are expecting here the value of a is 1 as default and value of b is now it is f e d c so you can see this is the 0th time a is equal to 1 and b is equal to f e d c now here the difference is that if you are not going to define any value any uh, new function directly if you are going to use new the default values will be 0 as and x depending on the uh, whichever the data type we are going to use if we are going to define our own constructor then we have a flexibility to use our own default values if those default values are required at the start of the simulation you can define those over here otherwise you can also pass from the test bench module or from any external module if you handling with this is the flexibility we have in our constructor so that the function new can be defined by your own or you can use the default constructor what system relog library is giving so this is about the system relog constructor this is very much important in the interviews many of you getting these questions how the function uh, new can be written what is the advantage of that how we are going to use in real time thank you